the equation x squared minus 10x plus k equals 0, where k has a positive integer. So whatever k is has to be positive, and it has integer solutions for x. So whatever x is, it has to be an integer. We want to determine the sum of all these distinct integer solutions. So when we factor a quadratic, this tells us that the two numbers in the parentheses, x minus blank and x minus blank, have to add to negative 10. This number here tells us they have to multiply to, now we don't know what the number is, but we do know it's a positive integer. So, Let's think of the possibilities. Well, we could have negative 1 and negative 9. We could have negative 2 and negative 8, negative 3, negative 7, negative 4, negative 6, negative 5, negative 5. So the way it's going to factor is like this. Any of these different possibilities now all of these equal 0 over here so that means x equals 1 x equals 9 over here x equals 2 x equals 8 x equals 3 x equals 7, x equals 4, x equals 6, x equals 5. Now we want all the sum of all the distinct, as they said, distinct integer solutions. So the fact that x equals 5 happens twice doesn't matter. Now I organize them this way because when we add these up, these all add up to 10. So 10, 20, 30, 40 plus 5 gives us 40. Five.